happening you lovely people of YouTube? You know what time it is, it is 12 p.m. It's only one thing, it's the top comic releases video of the week, which is week number 12, so let's do it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So as I just said, it is the top comic releases video for week number 12, which is March 24th. You know what we have to do every single week. You know the coup by now, you're regular viewers. If you are a new viewer, thank you for tuning in. It's time to grab your pen, grab your paper, grab your cup of coffee or your beer, wherever you are in the world. Sit back and chill out and write down what comics we've got coming out for this fantastic week so you can add them to your pool list. Let's do it. This week it is DC first with Action Comics 1029. We've got Action Comics 1029 with the Tedesco variant. We've got Batman Superman number 16. We've got Batman Superman number 16 with a Greg Smallwood variant cover. We've got Batman Black and White issue 4. We've got Batman Black and White Issue 4 with a Simone Bianche variant cover. And we've got Black Batman Black and White Issue 4 with a Gabrielle Delotto variant cover. This is awesome. Batman White Knight presents Harley Quinn number 6. This is my comic of the week, guys. Can't wait for this. We've got Batman White Knight presents Harley Quinn Issue 6 with the Matteo Scalera variant cover. We've got Detective Comics 1034. We've got Detective Comics 1034 with a Lee Bermijo variant cover. We've got Harley Quinn issue one. She is back in Gotham, wreaking havoc as usual. Harley Quinn issue one with a blank pink cardstock variant. <coughs> We've got the Derek Chu variant cover. This is probably gonna be the one that I'm gonna purchase. Harley Quinn issue one with a Natalie Sanders variant A. And we've got a Natalie Sanders variant B as well. These are pretty awesome, guys. There's quite a few Harley Quinn covers out this week, so check them out. We've got the Nathan Scherzi variant A. This is available at notquitemint.com. Check them out. 10% off with the code Geeky Guy uh, Geeky10. Nathan Scherzi variant B. <clears throat> we've got Shannon Mayer with a variant A. We've got variant B. And we've got a variant C as well. As I said, all looking awesome this week for the Clown Princess of Crime. Harley Quinn issue one, Warren Lowe variant A. I have actually purchased this one. I can't wait for this to arrive. We've got Warren Lowe variant B. We've got Yoshitaka Amano variant. We've got Teen Titans Academy issue one. And to finish off DC, we have Teen Titans Academy issue one with a Jamal Campbell variant. Over to IDW now, we have Dungeons and Dragons at the Spine of the World issue four. Dungeons and Dragons at the Spine of the World issue four, cover B, which is the character sheet. <clears throat> We've got a one in 10 incentive variant cover by unknown artist. We have GI Joe, a real American hero issue 281. We've got a Real American Hero 281 with a 1 in 10 Casey Maloney incentive variant. Sonic the Hedgehog 38. Sonic the Hedgehog 38 cover B by Natalie Foundrain. Star Wars Adventures issue 4. Star Wars Adventures issue 4 with a 1 in 10 incentive variant cover. We've got the comic book history of animation issue four. And we've got the comic book history of animation issue four cover B by Ryan Dunleavy. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the best of Michelangelo issue one. We've got Usagi Yojimbo issue number 17. And we've got Usagi Yojimbo issue 17, a one in 10 incentive variant cover. Over to Boom Studios now, we have Dune House Atreides issue five. Dune House Atreides issue five, cover B by Tuccini. 
Cecchini Incentive 1 in 50 variant cover. We've got Firefly, a brand new verse, issue number one. Firefly, a brand new verse, issue one, cover B by Fish. We've got cover E, which is a 1 in 50 incentive variant. We've got Firefly, a brand new verse, issue one, cover G. And we've got cover H as well. Once in Future, issue 17. This has been going strong consistently. Once in Future, issue 17 with a 1 in 10 incentive Dan Mora cover. And we've got a 1 in 25 cover by Christian Ward. We've got Power Rangers issue 5. The story continues. The Green Ranger has been revealed. How is it going to pan out? We've got Power Rangers issue 5 cover B by Dan Nucleolo with a legacy variant cover. And we've got cover D, which is the 1 in 10 Matteo Scalera Virgin variant. We've got cover E, which is a 1 in 15 D Nucleolo Legacy Virgin variant. And then we've got cover F, which is a 1 in 25 Peach Momoko variant cover. And we have a 1 in 50 Peach Momoko Virgin variant to end boom this week. Aftershock now, we've got Miskatonic issue number 5. And we have Shadow Doctor issue number two. Somebody put out the fire. It is a Blaze Comics now with Gung Ho Sexy Beast issue three. We've got Gung Ho Sexy Beast issue three, cover B by J. Quang Park. Cover C by Maynet. We've got a one in 10 Stefan Segovia Virgin Incentive variant cover. We've got a 1 in 20 Segova black and white incentive variant. And we have a 1 in 30 Kumant Virgin incentive variant cover for that. It's freezing, it's Antarctic Press, exciting comics issue number 8. We've got Punchline issue 12. And we've got Punchline issue 12 cover B which is a back to back variant cover. Upshot now with Year Zero, number five. This has been wicked, I'm loving this. And we have Year Zero, issue five, cover B by Rosanas. Action Lab now with Carmine, issue four. And we've got Carmine, issue four, cover B by Rubin. Dark Horse Comics now with Barbalian, Red Planet, issue five. We've got Barbalian Red Planet issue 5, cover B by Walter. Crimson Flower issue 3. And we've got Crimson Flower issue 3, cover B by Savage. Lady Baltimore issue 1. Finishes off Dark Horse Comics this week. Dynamite now with Deja Thoris issue 11. We've got Deja Thoris, issue 11, cover B by George F. We've got cover C by Joseph Michael Linsner. We've got cover D, which is a May S cosplay cover. We've got a Perillo limited virgin cover. We've got a Linsner limited virgin cover as well. We've got a 1 in 10 Perillo black and white incentive. We've got a 1 in 30 May S cosplay virgin incentive cover. We've got Red Sonia issue 25. We've got Red Sonia issue 25 cover B by Joseph Michael Linsner. Cover C by Anwar. We've got cover D by Robson. We've got a cover E, which is a Holland cosplay variant cover. We've got a Lee limited edition virgin cover. We have a Linsner limited virgin cover as well. 
We've got a 1 in 20 Michael Joseph, Lin Joseph Michael Linsner Limited Virgin cover. We've got a 1 in 15 Anwar Virgin Incentive cover. We have a 1 in 30 Lee Black and White Incentive cover. We have Vampirella vs Purgatory Issue 1. We've got Cover B by Paglian. Cover D by Kudransky. Cover E by Mastrazzo. We've got Cover E with a 1 in 100 Mastrazzo variant cover. We've got Cover F which is the White Blank Authentics cover. We've got the Alex Garner variant cover. This is pretty, pretty decent, if I'm honest. We've got a Derek Chu limited virgin cover. His work is always in, in amazing. We've got the Linzer with a CGC cover. I'm not quite sure what the CGC cover means, but. We've got Natalie Sanders on the variant as well. We've got Elias Chatzoudis with a variant A. and a variant B as well. We've got one in 10 at Linsner Black and White Incentive. We've got one in 20 Puglian Virgin Incentive. And to end Dynamite Strong this week, we have a one in 30 Mastrazzo Virgin Incentive cover. Image up now, we've got Bitter Root Issue 11. We have Ha Ha Issue 3. This is such a hot comic. I am collecting the second prints. We've got Ha Ha Issue 3, which is the Izzy's Comics exclusive. We've got Ha Ha Issue 3, Izzy's Comics exclusive, Fernandez variant cover. And we've got the Wanted Comics exclusive set A, which is a cover trade by John Gallagher. And we've got the Virgin cover as well by John Gallagher. We've got Moonshine issue 23. We've got Noman Omen issue 13. We've got Noman Omen issue 13, cover B by Deledra. We've got Post Americana issue 4. We've got Rain Like Hammers issue 3. We've got Stray Dogs Issue 2. I've been loving this and I'm looking forward to this one. We've got Stray Dogs 2, cover B, which is a horror movie variant by Forsner and Fleeks. And we've got the Cape and Cow Comics exclusive variant cover as well. We've got the Scumbag Issue 6. And the Scumbag Issue 6 with the 1 in 10 incentive level and Dinicio variant cover. Mad Cave Comics now with Pantomime Issue 5. Big week for Marvel coming up now. We have Alien Issue 1. So many variants out for this. Let's get through them. We've got Alien 1 with the one and only Scotty Young on this variant cover. We've got Ryan Brown with a variant A and a variant B. These are both available at notquitemint.com using the code GEEKY10 to receive 10% off your purchase at checkout. We've got Ron Lim on the variant for this. We have a Todd Nauch headshot variant. They are all sublime, these covers. We've got a Peach Momoko variant. And we also have a Peach Momoko Virgin variant cover limited to 1 in 100. We've got the Mike Mayhew variant A. and a variant B. And a variant C as well. We've got Miko, Miko Sayan with a variant A. Again, check this out over at notquitemint.com. We've got variant B. We have a Marco Mastrazzo variant A. And he's also done a Virgin Variant B as well. 
We've got Greg Horn on the variant A. <clears throat> variant B. And yep, you guessed it, there is a Greg Horn variant C as well. We've got Patrick Gleason with a variant. This is probably this is homage to the movie itself, the first film. We've got David Finch on the launch variant. We've got Clayton Crane with a variant A. <coughs> a variant B. And we've got a variant C as well. We've got the black blank variant cover. We've got a 1 in 25 La Rocca variant. We've got a 1 in 50 McNiven variant cover. We have a 1 in 500 Patrick Gleason Virgin variant. We've got a 1 in 500 in Hyuk Lee Virgin variant cover. We have Black Panther issue 24. We've got Black Panther issue 24 with a Michael Cho Black Panther two-tone variant cover. We have the Joe Quinanez variant. I think that's how you say his name. We've got Jen Bartel with the Shuri Women's History Month, Black History Month variant. We've got Cable issue nine. We've got Carnage, Black, White and Blood issue one. This is another one that's got loads of variants out this week. Let's get through them. We've got Black, White and Blood issue one, the Scan Shiruswan variant A and a variant B. We've got Patrick Gleason on the variant of this. This has been, the Virgin has been sold out already everywhere. We've got Otley with the variant cover. And we've got Miko Sion with a variant A. You guessed it, guys. These are available at notquitemint.com. And we've got a variant B as well. We've got Cal Engu on the variant A. And a variant B as well. In Hope Lee, with a fantastic looking variant here. And yep, you guessed it, it's followed up with an Hyutli Virgin variant as well. We've got Gabriel Delotta with a variant A. And a variant B. <coughs> We've got a 1 in 25 Peach Momoko variant. We had the Marco Cecchetto 1 in 50 variant cover. We've got Excalibur 19 now. We have Guardians of the Galaxy issue 12. This has been honestly a consistently great comic, really good read. And we've got the Hetrick Gamora thing variant cover. <clears throat> we've got King in Black screen issue one. King in Black screen issue one by Silver with the Stormbreakers variant. We've got Ryan Brown on the variant as well. We have Maestro War and Pax issue three. Maestro War and Pax issue three with the George Jimenez variant cover. We've got Miles Morales Spider-Man issue 24. Miles Morales Spider-Man issue 24 with a Ken Lashley Miles thing variant. We've got Savage Avengers issue 19. We have Savage Avengers 19 with a Michael Cho Black Widow two-tone variant. We've got Star Wars Dr. Aphra issue eight. And we've got Star Wars Dr. Aphra issue eight with a one in 25 Bustos variant. <clears throat> Taskmaster issue five. Taskmaster issue 5 with the Terry variant. We've got the Amazing Spider-Man issue 62. 
We've got the Amazing Spider-Man issue 62 with the Tyler Kirkham variant A. And a Virgin variant as well. We've got an In Hyuk Lee variant cover. This is probably the best one out of the bunch if I'm honest. The next one, this Greg Land Superman Thing variant is pretty decent. But this cover coming up guys is shocking. Let me know what you think. It's the 1 in 10 Weaver variant. This is the most hideous Spider-Man suit I've ever seen. We've got Omnipress now with Dryad issue 9. Over to Scout Comics now we have Frank at Home on the Farm issue 3. We have The Recount issue number 3. <clears throat> We have the recount issue 3 of a Brian Silverback's variant. We've got Brian Silverback's on the Virgin variant as well. And we have Rabid World issue number 1. Skybound now with Die 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 issue 14. Titan comics now with Blade Runner Origins number 2. We've got Blade Runner Origins Issue 2, Cover B by Peach Momoko. Cover C by Dagnino. We've got Cover D by Hack. We've got Cover E again, which is a Peach Momoko sketch FOC. Vault up now, we have Hollow Heart Issue 1. Only one comic from these guys this week. And we have Xenoscope with Bell Thunder of Gods Issue 1. Bell Thunder of Gods Issue 1, cover B by Vittorino. And to finish off week number 12, we have Bell Thunder of Gods Issue 1, cover C by Rafino. So there we have it. There's around about 280 or so comic books out this week, which is a much, much bigger and better improved week than last week. With only 160 or two comics in total came out last week, which is pretty lousy. I didn't read anything and I can't blame any of you if you didn't either, because there weren't really much to read, to be fair. Um, we've got the likes of Marvel, DC, IDW, Boom Studios, Scout Comics, Mad Cave Comics, Xenoscope. There's so much out this week, so it looks like we are finally getting back to the standard that us as comic book readers deserve now do follow me over on instagram and twitter for geeky news reviews i do geeky's weekly highlights with what's coming out this week before this video airs on a monday so if you don't have youtube one, I don't understand why, but two, the option is there for you to check out on Instagram, so head over to me there. Hit me up on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, the like button, the share button, do whatever you've got to do to make sure that you do not miss this content and let everyone know that's into comics, that Geeky Guy Comics is the place to be for all your top comic releases and reviews, so make sure you do do that. It's been another quality week uh, for Geeky Guy Comics. We had loads going on last week. This week we are back to normal with the Killer Comics show, so make sure you do tune in for that. 9 p.m. GMT live on YouTube. It's going to be wicked. We've got big things coming this year for Geeky Guy Comics, so make sure you do stay tuned and be part of it. As always, guys, I just want to send my love and gratitude for everything you've been able me to do on this channel. And with that, if I don't see you for a week, I'll see you through the Geeky Guy window. Thank you.